the show. His website is www.cosmicmajority.org. And uh, Michael is the author of Alien Rock, The Rock and Roll Extraterrestrial Connection. And he's also working on a new book entitled Rock Stars, Hollywood and the Alien and Alien Contact celebrities inside secrets once again his website is www.cosmicmajority.org mike has always great having you on the show my friend um t- tell me tell me when or if the news will ever break that planet x is real and if it is broken who's going to break it well, this is again one of those impossible questions to answer. Sorry, uh, but no, I uh, I think that the existence of Planet X uh, coming, the uh, existence of Planet X uh, uh, in an orbit uh, coming toward Earth uh, will be uh, only uh, made public at the last possible second mm-hmm. or last possible minute. Uh, when the government has no other choice, the panic that would ensue would be phenomenal. Uh, and I, for that reason, uh, they're going to keep it bottled up uh, as as most as best they can. You know, I, I can understand the government being able to suppress the, um, you know, NASA as well as the other. Uh, observatories and professionals that they have under their control, but when it comes to the amateur astronomers, how are they going to control them from from getting the information out into the media? Well, you know, there were. Uh, I'm not sure that they can. However, uh, amateur astronomers who have found uh, meteors and other objects in space mm-hmm. uh, before uh, many times, um, uh, you know, have not uh, come up with anything convincing. Now they may, but it hasn't happened. Uh, so far, uh, but uh, uh, the uh, there's no question that the comets and the and the asteroids that are coming toward Earth are are increasing. Yeah. And my question for NASA is, uh, and for a guy, but there's a guy by the name of David Morrison, who's a NASA's astrophysicist, and he's a big guy with he's director of the Carl Sagan uh, Institute or something like that. Uh, and I challenged him uh, uh, to come on to my radio show, uh, Cosmic Majority, to be interviewed uh, about Planet X, and he absolutely refused to go on. Uh, but there has to be an explanation. If it's not Planet X that's causing meteors and asteroids and comets to come toward Earth with, with, you know, with a vengeance, this is happening all the time. Every single week you can find uh, video and, and, and sightings of it. Uh, what's causing it? What else could possibly cause it? I have not got an answer yet. I'm working on it, but I don't expect that I'm going to get any other answer. I think it is Planet X. And I don't know why we can't see it, although some people claim, of course, that they have, and mm-hmm. why you know there haven't been any convincing photographs of it. And it is a very large body. It's five times bigger than Earth, supposedly. Uh, but um, I think that this is a harbinger of Planet X, these these meteors and, and other objects are coming uh, uh, toward Earth. Hey, Mike, you and I have got to say so long for tonight. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Take care of yourself, my friend, and if you get any other breaking news, give me a call. Let me know. We'll right, get well, you on well. as soon as we can. Take care of yourself, Thanks Michael. Good night, sir. Okay. Exo Nation, Michael Luckman has been my guest this hour. www.cosmicmajority.org. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news at six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as the Exxon continues with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and heard heard around the world on the Exxon Broadcast Network and our growing family of broadcast affiliates and satellite programming carriers. We'll be back. Don't go away. 